Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray you're doing well this morning. It is Wednesday, October the 30th. Oh, having the last of that mushroom coffee uh, for this morning. All right, well, this morning we're going to start off once again in Psalm 28. And then we have a reading in Ezekiel. And then we're going to the Gospel of Matthew. So, Psalm 28. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. To you, O Lord, I call. My rock, be not deaf to me. Lest if you be silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my pleas for mercy. When I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary, do not drag me off with the wicked, with the workers of evil, who speak peace with their neighbors, while evil is in their hearts. Give to them according to their work, and according to the evil of their deeds. Give to them according to the work of their hands. Render them their due reward, because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the work of his hands. He will tear them down and build them up no more. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my pleas for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exults, and with my song I give thanks to him. The Lord is the strength of his people. He is the saving refuge of his anointed. O oh, save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. The Old Testament lesson this morning. Ezekiel chapter 14 verses 12 through 23. And this one is entitled Jerusalem will not be spared. Mm. And the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, when a land sins against me by acting faithlessly, and I stretch out my hand against it, and break its supply of bread, and send famine upon it, and cut off from it man and beast, even if these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it. They would deliver, but their own lives by their righteousness, declares the Lord God. If I cause wild beasts to pass through the land, and they ravage it, and it be made desolate, so that no one may pass through because of the beasts, even if these three men were in it, as I live, declares the Lord God, they would deliver neither sons nor daughters. They alone would be delivered, but the land would be desolate. Or if I bring a sword upon that land, and say, Let a sword pass through the land, and I cut off from it man and beast, though these three men were in it, as I live, declares the Lord God, they would deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they alone would be delivered. Or if I send a pestilence into that land and pour out my wrath upon it with blood to cut off from it man and beast, even if Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, as I live, declares the Lord, they would deliver neither son nor daughter. They would deliver but their own lives by their righteousness. For thus says the Lord God, How much more when I send upon Jerusalem my four disastrous acts of judgment, sword, famine, wild beast, and pestilence, to cut off from it man and beast. But behold, some survivors will be left in it, sons and daughters, who will be brought out. Behold, when they come out to you, and you see their ways and their deeds, you will be consoled for the disaster that I have brought upon Jerusalem, for all that I have brought upon it. They will console you when you see their ways and their deeds. You shall know that I have not done without cause all that I have done in it, declares the Lord God. Hmm, wow. <clears throat> all right. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 20, verses 29 through 34. And this one is entitled, Jesus Heals Two Blind Men. And as they went out of Jericho, a great crowd followed him. And behold, there were two blind men sitting by the roadside, and when they heard that Jesus was passing by, they cried out, 
Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. The crowd rebuked them, telling them to be silent. But they cried out all the more, Lord, have mercy on us, son of David. And stopping, Jesus called them and said, What do you want me to do for you? They said to him, Let our eyes be opened. And Jesus, in pity, touched their eyes, and immediately they recovered their sight and followed him. And this is the word of the Lord this morning. All right, I'll open up the Pray Now app and uh, we'll read the prayer of the day. So let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, since we cannot stand before you relying on anything we have done, help us trust in your abiding grace and live according to your word. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen and amen. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in this morning. It's always a pleasure to get up and share the word with you. Uh, so with that, y'all have a great day. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee in the Word. God bless.